Hi, I'm Pastor Taylor Stempniak, the pastor here at Emmanuel Lutheran Church, and you're watching The Peak. One of the things I love most about God is his patience with us. He is happy to teach us the same lessons again and again and again. And what's been really cool this past week and this week and even next week is our Old Testament text and what Jesus is telling us in the New Testament kind of go hand in hand. And so this week we have Samuel and he's trying to decide who the next king will be. And he goes and he sees all of these brothers lined up and, you know, this one's really strong. This one's really tall. This one's the oldest and the wisest. And he's like, God, is it this brother? God's like, no. Is it this brother? No. This brother? No. And he's like, I don't understand. They're all, you know, these strapping young men. They're all fit to be king. And so he looks at the father and he says, do you have any more sons? And he goes, I do, but I don't, I don't think David is who they want to be king. Like that, I don't think God would choose David. Well, David comes in. He's the youngest of the sons, the smallest of the sons. And unlike his brothers who are warriors or leaders, he's a shepherd in a field. You know, he's a farmer. And God says, this is it. This is who I've picked to be my next king. And Samuel is wise and Samuel trusts the Lord. And he looks at David and he says, you're it. You're the next king. Because what God does for us so often is he takes what the world expects and he flips it on its head. He doesn't want a king that is a mighty warrior or some tall, strapping young man. He doesn't want a king that's the most handsome or even the smartest amongst the brothers. He wants a king that knows how to care for his people. And David, who has been a shepherd, knows how to care for his people. David's not perfect. Later on, we'll hear stories about how David kind of, you know, walks off the straight and narrow and how it hurts people along the way. But God still walks with him through that. And God still chose him with a purpose to show us what it means when God says that we are worthy. He doesn't not love the older sons, the strong sons, the smart sons. He just has different plans for them. And oftentimes, those of us who are strong and smart and have things that the world considers to be valuable, it's hard for us to see the blessings and the gifts that come in our neighbors who look differently and act differently and speak differently than we do. And as if King David wasn't enough of a lesson about this, Christ gives us the same lesson. We have the parable of the mustard seed today. Now, most of us are familiar with the parable of the mustard seed that's in Matthew, where Jesus talks to us about how if we had the faith the size of a mustard seed, then we could tell this tree or this mountain to get up and move, and it would. But this parable is a little different in Mark. Jesus tells us to look at a mustard seed, the smallest of all seeds, and consider that it grows into the mightiest of all shrubs. And it's not that a mustard tree is, you know, the tallest or even the widest, but it's got a good, strong base. And when you look at the seed to tree ratio, it's pretty impressive. That's just a little tiny thing that grows up to be something so big. And what Jesus is reminding us of again is that God has built the story of grace into creation. I mean, think about that parable. Jesus didn't have to make up a fantasy tree and a fantasy seed. He used something God had already given him to tell us the story that whenever we are told that we are unworthy or too small or too young or too old, that we are too much of something by the world, oftentimes God is going to take those things that make us different, make us feel like we might be unworthy and use that to grow his kingdom. Because we are all created in the image of the Lord, and we have all been created to fill a unique call here and now. And so God can take what makes us different and help us grow that 
so that it can reach new people that I might not be able to reach, but you can. That's the beautiful thing about the Lord is that he loves each of us for what we are. Whether we're in the mustard seed stage or the shrub stage, whether we're an older brother or we're the shepherd's son, God meets us where we are and helps us to develop in faith so that we can go out and continue to develop his kingdom. And so we can see how much we are loved by the God that created us so that he helped grow us and love us and he helped shape us so our branches don't get too wild in the process. Thank you so much for joining us for the peak today. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for the reminders that you have constantly given us about how much you love us and how willing you are to work alongside us. We give you thanks that we are all created differently and that those differences allow us to build the kingdom to be strong and sturdy and that those differences are loved by you because they reflect you out into the world. Help us to recognize our unique gifts and calling so that we can come to understand the love that you have for us and the love that you wish that we had for ourselves. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week.